What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am only doing nail prepping. I'm gonna show you guys how to prep, and I'm doing a little bit of shaping, not too much. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to give y'all better angles on videos. And I'm trying to get the lighting and everything right. So just bear with me with me getting all this together for you guys because I now have a new stand. So yeah. Now I am uh, pushing back the cuticles. That is the first step. Then I'm going to remove the shine. But actually I'm gonna go around the cuticle um on the cuticles with my cuticle bit. And then I'm going to remove the shine from the nail beds. Oh, and before I pushed back the cuticles, I did put dehydrate on the nails because she had to put hand, hand sanitizer on her nails. So her nails are kind of oily due to COVID. I'll make them put hand sanitizer on first or wash their hands. Also, it is it's optional to put dehydrator on nails. You don't necessarily have to unless their nail beds are really oily. But all you have to do is remove the shine with your uh, your sanded bit or a nail file. But while you guys are watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I am going to give you guys a lot of better videos once I get like new lighting and um, a new camera possibly. So yes, I got y'all. Just wait on it. But on here, I am removing the shine from the nail biz and I'm roughing up the nails. So with this this um sanded, I didn't have any more of the uh, the rough sanded bit. So this one is a fine one. So all they're doing is just smoothing it out and you know taking away the shine. But you're gonna see that I am gonna use a um a nail file to rough it up the um the nail beds because that's the only way that your nails are going to stay without popping off. I am now going to be applying the tips. Okay, you guys, if the tips are too big for the nail beds, like hers in the video, her nail, her nail beds are really small. So the tips are too big. Just bow the sides down, the sides down until they fit her nail beds.
when I'm fouling, um, I just like to go back and forth on each side so I can get a perfect shape. And um, when I'm doing my the tip of the nail, I like to turn the hand around and foul that way so I can see, I can actually see what they're looking at. Um, also, when I'm shaping, I really just go with the flow really. Like, it's not really a way I can really explain it. I don't know how to really explain it, but um, as you can see, I am roughing out the nail beds with my um, hand file. That will really remove the shine so the uh, primer can soak into the nails and they can stay. With the pinky nail, of course, I'm doing stiletto. She asked for stiletto. I will be doing, you will, You guys will get a full video of the end of the nails. But for this video, it's just nail prepping. That's it. And this is how I prep the nails. Um, as you can see, sometimes I don't perfectly shape them until the acrylic is laid and it's getting to the end of the nails because it's no point in perfectly shaping them twice. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah. But that's how I prep nails. I'm gonna apply the primer now. And uh, I always do two coats of primer. I let the first one dry, I let it sit a little bit, and then I do another coat. 